see the additive property of binomial distribution if capital x and y are two independent random variables such that x follows binomial distribution with parameters n1 comma p1 p1 and y follows the binomial distribution with parameters n2 comma p2 then x plus y follows the binomial distribution n1 plus n2 comma p i repeat again the statement capital x and y are two independent random variables x follows binomial distribution with parameters n1 comma p1 y also follows binomial distribution with parameters n2 comma p2 then there sum x plus y follows binomial distribution with parameters n1 plus n2 comma p let us prove this statement capital x and y are two independent random variables following binomial distributions with parameters n1 comma p1 and n2 comma p2 respectively by the definition of moment generating function mx of t by the definition of moment generating function mx of t is equals to q1 plus p1 e power t whole power n1 my of t is equals to q2 plus p2 e power t whole power n so to learn to learn additive property of binomial distribution it is must to learn about mgf so first practice the mgf then it is easy to understand the additive property so the moment generating function of binomial distribution is given in this way mx of t is equals to q1 plus p1 e power t whole power n1 my of t is equals to q2 plus p2 e power t whole power n2 since capital x and y are independent since capital x and y are independent by the properties of moment generating function mx plus y of t is equals to mx of t into my of t because the random variables are independent the random variables are independent so mx plus y of t can be written as mx of t into m y of t what is mx of t q1 plus p1 e power t whole power n1 what is m y of t q2 plus p2 e power t whole power n now assume the condition p1 is equals to p2 is equals to p assume the condition p1 is equals to p2 is equals to p then you get q plus p whole q plus p e power t whole power n1 q plus p e power t whole power n2 that is nothing but q plus p e power t whole power n1 plus n2 therefore mx plus y of t mx plus y of t is equals to q plus p e power t whole power n1 plus n2 this condition shows us this condition shows us the random variable x plus y follows the binomial distribution with parameters n1 plus n2 comma p now let us see the recurrence relation the recurrence relation for probabilities of binomial distribution the recurrence relation or the recurrence formula for the probabilities of binomial distribution is given by p of x plus 1 divided by p of x is equals to p of x plus 1 divided by p of x is equals to n minus x divided by x plus 1 step of n minus x divided by x plus 1 into p by q into p by q one of the simple proof observe that capital x follows binomial distribution with parameters n comma p capital x is a random variable that follows binomial distribution with parameters n comma p it means what is the pmf probability mass function of binomial distribution probability of x is equals to x is equals to n c x p power x q power n minus x where x is equals to 0 1 2 and so on small n what is p of x plus 1 p of x plus 1 is equals to probability of the variable capital x at the point x plus 1 p of x plus 1 is equals to probability of the random variable capital x at the point x plus 1 is equals to n c x plus 1 p power x plus 1 q power n minus of x plus 1 you remember that in this definition x is replaced by x plus 1 in the above definition x is replaced by x plus 1 that's it now take the lhs p of x plus 1 divided by p of x p of x plus 1 divided by p of x so write out the p of x plus 1 nc x plus 1 p power x plus 1 q power n minus of x plus 1 divided by nc x p power x q power n minus x so what is nc x plus 1 n factorial by x plus 1 factorial into n minus x plus 1 factorial and what is ncx ncx 1 by ncx so you get x factorial into n minus x factorial divided by n factorial so 
p power x plus 1 divided by p power x they get cancel you get p and q power n minus of x x plus 1 divided by q power n minus 1 get you get 1 by q so you get p by q. after cancelling all these factorial notations i mean by simplifying you simply get n minus x divided by x plus 1 n minus x divided by x plus 1 practice the simplification practice the simplification so i think x plus 1 factorial can be written as x plus 1 factorial can be written as x factorial into x plus 1 x factorial into x plus 1 x factorial x factorial get cancelled in a similar way substitute simplify every term you get n minus x divided by x plus 1 into p by q and finally and finally p of x plus 1 divided by p of x is equals to p of x plus 1 divided by p of x is equals to n minus x divided by x plus 1 into p by q that's it which is known as A recurrence relation for the probability function of probabilities of binomial distribution wish you all the best keep learning